Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, somebody kindly bought me this balloon. I had no money to myself yesterday. I was relying on people um, because I didn't have any cash. Hi, by the way, my name is Crystal. If you like my videos, thumbs up. Welcome old, welcome new subscribers. Um, yeah, this is a balloon that came from London outside um, Victoria. No, it was a tube station. I think this guy was stood outside the tube station. I was, I was so tired last night when I came home, I really can't remember. But as you can see, this balloon, it's just one of the, a balloon and somebody's got a string of pound shop lights. They've got a string of pound shop lights and sellotape lights onto the balloon which is extremely dangerous for children isn't it look and there's some sellotape on the stick so it's very cheaply made he was charging 10 pounds for these 10 pounds but uh, because he was going home it was late at night we got this balloon for a fiver but he was charging 10 pounds each for these and it's like got several very cheaply made though and quite dangerous for a child the lights are loose and it's just stuck with sellotape basically right little children here from children here from London right they must have made a fortune yesterday the Jubilee brochures uh, were ten pounds each can you imagine everybody going into the concert thousands and thousands of people and the Jubilee uh, programs were ten pounds each. The food was very expensive. It was fourteen pounds for just a chicken burger and chips. Fourteen pounds for a chicken burger meal. It would have been cheaper going to McDonald's. So they must have raked the money in yesterday. Absolutely raked it in. Everything was double the price it would be in a Costa coffee or in, in a burger bar. Double the price. And, you know, I, I didn't have any money at all. These things were paid for by other people for me. So where was I? Right, yes. Um, before we went to the concert, which started at 8 o'clock, we were there at five, so I was waiting three hours on my feet for this concert to start. And before the actual concert started, with Craig David, Mabel, and Queen, and Andrew Lloyd Webber that was there, I saw Andrew Lloyd Webber on the screens that were projected, because we didn't have tickets to sit in the palace grounds. We didn't have tickets for a seat. So, you know, there were children sitting on the floor and being crushed by crowds. There was actually poor people, people that couldn't afford tickets to watch the concert, were sat on the floor and being crushed and trodden on, and children as well. And I felt it wasn't safe for kids, to be honest. Not little kids sat on the floor with... People drinking, they were selling Jack Daniels. And people were drunk and they were smoking weed and marijuana. And there were children sat on the floor outside. What I was going to say is, um, beforehand, um, an Asian man dressed in a suit and black shoes came up to me and talked to me and interviewed me for ITV News and I was wearing this Union Jack hat. A woman asked me where I got it from. I got it from Amazon, right? And I've also left two flags behind. I've left flags as well in the car. I've left my souvenirs and two flags that I was waving when I was singing karaoke on the screen. Um, so this guy interviewed me, he said for ITV News, an Asian guy, and I have never spoken to, to anyone from the news before, I've never been on 
on TV and I've never been interviewed. So it was off the cuff. I, I didn't have time to check if I had lipstick on my teeth. I didn't know, but I just, it was just off the cuff. I don't know whether it went on TV last night or not, but I was wearing this lovely hat yesterday. So that's what happened before the concert. Now, I never expected crowds to be rude and aggressive, okay? Um, me, it wasn't handled very well. My, I was with somebody, right? Now, the person I was with had one of his mates right at the front of the crowd that was near Buckingham Palace. You could see the, the screen and the music, and you could see the front of Buckingham Palace if you were tall. And I'm tiny and I couldn't bloody see anything. And to, first of all, we couldn't hear anything either. And people were shouting, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Because we couldn't hear anything outside. Right? So there was karaoke going on, the crowd and the singing. But, you know, alcohol doesn't mix, does it? It makes people cross. Drugs and alcohol hyper, make people hyper and angry. And there was lots of children there, and a couple of them were sat on the floor, and the crowd was aggressive. It was aggressive. All who I was with said, my mate's down there, I just want to talk to him for a bit, and then come back. And they wouldn't let him pass. No. No. And I was completely ignored. No, I, they, they didn't talk to me at first. And then this guy with the blue plastic bag took me off with who I was with to get a latte. Very jolly Tunisian guy took me and who I was with to get a latte and one of the muffins. Now the muffins were about four pounds fifty, and the latte was about three fifty, four fifty. So he got two lattes and a muffin for me. And I put, he put two sugars in my latte. I started to get really dry in the throat. I'd had a chicken meal. A ch fried chicken burger with salad and fries with tomato sauce. It's getting a bit dry in the throat and I started coughing a bit. People were smoking drugs and they were smoking cigarettes as well which makes you dry in the mouth and it was very hot and I was getting really really hot in the face. So we went back with the coffee. This Tunisian guy was trying to push through the crowd, not not push. He was asking people if he could get to the front. And it was like a comedy film, but these people were, they were staring at us with glaring eyes and really angry. And there was a group of women from another country, I don't know whether it was America, and two very sun-tanned, beautiful ladies. And this Tunisian guy was going, oh, you're very sexy to these guys. And this is my mum. My, he called me his second mum. And then he turned around to one woman when she was moaning and said, I'm going to call you mummy, mum. And she went, she got offended by that. She went, I'm, I, no, I don't like being called mother. She was younger than me, a lot younger. So he was, he was drunk on Jack Daniels, apparently. Apparently this bloke had downed half a bottle of Jack Daniels before he came to the concert with his blue plastic bag. Right, this Tunisian guy had down half a bottle of Jack Daniels. Now, I wasn't staying in a hotel with this guy. This Tunisian guy was staying in a hotel with another man. So he was staying in a hotel with another man. He wasn't staying in a hotel with me. I had got driven up from Rochester yesterday. I wasn't staying in a hotel. And he was staying
staying in a hotel with a bald guy. She was staying in a hotel with a bald guy. I've got a head full of hair. So, basically, this guy was pissed out of his head. And I'm not an aggressive person. I don't like pushing past people. And at one stage, I thought the crowd was going to attack. You know, this one guy's eyes were rolling. And um, eventually, who I was with, the guy, they met each other. And, you know, his mate had met a girl there. I hadn't met a bloke. But this guy who was staying with the Tunisian guy had met a lovely girl, he said. And to be honest, she wasn't all that attractive, but everybody had been drinking. So the girl wasn't that, all that. She wasn't all that. She was nice and polite and friendly, apparently, and she was chatting the bloke up. Um, but she didn't go back to the hotel with him. Um, so the Tunisian guy said to me, right, he was dry in the throat. And he said he wanted to make me happy. He, he, it, it's important that me was happy. Me was happy. And I just wanted to go home. He was spoiling things a bit. So I said, I just want to get out. I just want to get out. You know, people don't want you pushing through the crowd. So two AP, it said AP on their vest. APs came over. Because the coloured guy was having a bit of bother with somebody. So these APs came over to the coloured guy and one of the APs really pushed me out of the way. Shoved past me. I'm a woman, right? So the Tunisian guy said, never push a lady. Never push a lady. Because these APs had pushed past me, right? And I'm a woman and they pushed past me to talk to this coloured guy. And um, I wanted to leave. So the Tunisian guy said, you want to leave? I got you this space, you want to leave? So everybody was drinking, you see. They, they were off their heads, some of them, on alcohol. And there were kids on the floor being trampled on and old people. Um, so he, this Tunisian guy went off to get me some juice. He went off to get me some juice and who I was with, a coffee, and he said, can you look after my blue plastic bag? My blue plastic bag, can you look after it? And he left it near a group of people with black teeth drinking Jack Daniels. They all had black teeth and teeth missing. And he left us right near a group of what looked like drug addicts with children and dumped his plastic bag near the fence. And I didn't feel safe at all. And basically, he said, they said to him, if you leave the crowd, you won't come back. And the Tunisian guy went, I will come back, I will come back. He didn't come back. He left a blue plastic bag with a white coat in it and a black umbrella. That's all that was in it. And I picked it up. Me, Crystal, picked the bag up because kids were coughing over it. Someone sneezed over it, and I, you know, I'm kind, so I picked the blue plastic bag up with the white furry coat in and a black umbrella and carried it to the car, because I'm nice like that. But he wasn't staying with me, he was staying with somebody else who has got a bald head. He's a lovely guy. He was staying with a guy with a bald head. And I've got a head full of hair. And I'm Crystal. And this guy was going, I'm famous. I'm famous. I'm famous. Because drink, that's what drink does to you. It gives you ideas of grandeur, doesn't it? You feel above your station, full of confidence. I'm famous. Crystal, I'm famous. Jolly, jolly, jolly. And I'll do another video in a moment.